Hi everyone, uh, Stu here, going to try and do a quick run through of uh, mask node GUI testing version Neo. Gemini, the next version is in production, it's been polished, uh, shouldn't be too long. I'm not going to go through every single step from scratch, I'll just go through the basics. So let's go to mask.ai website, scroll down, I'll go to knowledge base, lots of information here to read about project uh, testing. Dev notes, social links, etc. I'm going to click on test guide and Neo test plan one. You see the package installer here. So if you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux, you would just click on that and it will download it for you. You may get Windows warning just saying we don't know what this file is, but all the instructions are on the website there. Okay. So I've downloaded the installer there. Double click that and you'll get an installer wizard. Just click through, installs on your C drive in, in a mask file. Okay. And then that gives you that's what Neo is. Okay. See the daemon is connected to the background service, which will all be packaged up eventually. We'll come back to that in a second. On the get book, which we were looking at a second ago, lots and lots of information for you. But I'm going to assume here now, I'm not going to do it all in front of you, that you have been into your router, selected a port to open. So I'm going to use 3364. You go into your router into the security settings that is a port forward or something similar and you set it so that port is opening it would allow the communication of the nodes you also might want to go into your windows firewall or whatever third-party firewall you're using and create a rule all the instructions are on here to allow mask to pass through your firewall otherwise your firewall might block it so uh, i would certainly do that and, and certainly you should be aware of your firewall anyway so back to neo test plan one Scroll down, as I said, everything's here for you. Descriptors, which we'll come to in a second, and uh, lots of settings. Now, you can you can manually set things. Um, I don't, I use a config file, which is referenced in the documents. Config file is a file which allows you to put a lot of information in the file, and then that will set the node for you. There is an example one on the website. You can download it. We're on the Robston test nets. If you need tokens, let one of us know in Discord or, or Telegram, we'll send them to you. You have to input your clandestine port, the one that you've opened in your router. So I use 3364, so I put 3364 in there. Put a password in for your own safety. Wallet. So your wallet address, it will be OX, whatever, whatever, whatever. I suggest you make a clean wallet on MetaMask for this. And then once you've created the new wallet, you can put the address in there, in there like that between the, the marks. Your IP address, get that off the internet, put that in there. And consumer private key, again, from the wallet creator on MetaMask, go into the security settings, you might have to put your password in again, and it'll give you a private key. Keep that safe, keep that secret. So you put that in there, file, save as, save to desktop, just save it as convict, and it will say, show you convict.tom. So just, just save Okay, so let's go back to the GUI. Settings are up here, top right. So this is Neo, so the, the new one the version that's coming is much, much simpler for you to use and it'll take a lot of these steps out. But let's go to Advanced Settings, I'm going into Expert, and there's a puppet to put my convict file address. So that file we were just looking at that you created with your information in, we'll need to tell the GUI where it is. Okay, so I know where mine is. Um, let me just, because I've got other screens open, there's my file address. I'm saving it, showing a sync back to the dashboard, standard. Now, before I start, I want someone to connect in. So let me just pop in to Discord. See, Rene's on, Anfanga's on, Galactic's on, Kauri's on. Let me just pick a descriptor. So I'm taking the descriptor of Galactic. Setting it. And I'm starting. So, all running according to plan. Everything you've seen this should happen. So when the node is connected there in green and graphs representing data, showing the disc my descriptor now. So if I wanted to share that, I can give that to someone in Discord or in a private chat and they can connect directly to me and I'm connected to, to Galactic and Galactic connected to presumably an AWS server that we've got up and running or maybe Rene. So that's running. So I'm going to very quickly, oh, Stefan's just come online. We've got another one up. Uh, very quickly, just going to do a uh, IP check before I show you some more. Um, my IP, my location, it's fairly accurate. Well, it's not actually. 
not where I live, but it's close. So the, the, the node is running, but I'm not actually routing traffic at the moment. So that's why my IP in a location is it's fairly accurate because it's it's close to what it should be. So what I'm going to do now is what's called subverting my DNS. I'm going to go into my search bar and look for, and I see something from network status. That's there. That's it. Change adapter options. I'll click on that. And there's my Ethernet adapter properties, you get a list, look for internet protocol version 4, TCP4 slash IPv4 properties. This shows you your IP address and your DNS is already set for you automatically, but I don't want that. I want to go through the node, so I'm going to change my DNS to 1.127.0.0.1. When I click OK here now and close this, this will mean that my traffic will be running through the node. All this will be packaged in eventually. Okay, this is simply testing, but not Gemini. Okay, let's click OK, close that. Up. So, no, it's running. We've just subverted my DNS. Let's have a look what my IP is now. It's taken a second. I've done this quite quick because I'm literally banging through the steps for you. See on Discord that people are getting payments going through the transactions, obviously, for serving and consuming. Sorry, that's my fault that happened because I didn't shut down the windows that I'd opened that were connected to my normal internet connection. So when I shut everything down, fired it up again, you can see then that my IP is now changed to Oregon. <laughs> I'm not in Oregon as you just saw five minutes ago, I'm in the UK. Um, so my IP is now running through the node. My IP has changed, so I'm routing traffic. Let me bring up here. All running smoothly. Orange thing there, ignore it, right? It's it's working. So uh, I'm currently running on mask node. My Discord is open and working fine. My Telegram is working and running fine. The internet you just saw. Let's see what else we can find. Here we are. Here's the BBC running through mask node. Now, normally I would have a pop up, I would be automatically signed in because I have a profile which hasn't happened. It would show some personalization in terms of my local area, which hasn't happened. You can see Rene's getting his node back up. So the network is growing. So the speed at the moment is only a few of us on may not be fantastic, but let's have a look, shall we? As more and more people join today now, the speed of the network will get faster. A second, I'm not surprised. Cap trumpet. Here we are. YouTube. So, uh, you know, it, it's flickering a bit, which is fine. It's actually buffering. Uh, but as I say, that's because the network's fairly small at the moment. Um, So what we should see now, just to show you. So I can stream YouTube, Discord, Telegram, surfing on the BBC. I'm not sure what else I could show you, but that, that's the very basics. I don't want to make it too long-winded, but just to give you something to see. I'll catch you all later.